For now, though, I've got a question for you. Ever wondered what goes into your mints? Well, Woolworths are devoted to ensuring that nothing but the premium quality cuts go into it and nothing involving scraps. So Chef Clem headed down to Excellent Meat to do exactly that, to find out and learn more about how we make our mints and what goes into the process. Let's take a look. To deliver exceptional quality meat that you can trust, Woolies have built trusted supply chains with not just their farmers, but their suppliers as well. And today I get to experience that firsthand as I'm visiting their local butchery, Excellent Meat, to find out what goes in Woolies beef mints that just makes it exceptional. Sadiq Ismail, thank you so much for having me here today. I'm very excited to be on what I consider ground zero of the production of that exceptional quality mints. Tell me more about the history of Excellent Meat. It's been a love story between my mom and my dad that started this business in 1970. And that's where the innovation started. You know, the real growth of Excellent Meat really started from that one butchery that we had in Wetton since 1970. Your first order to Woolies was in 1996. Tell me about the relationship then and how it's evolved until today. We, we opened up in 1995 as a, as a retail store, but at that time there was a very ultra-modern uh, retail store for this area. Oh, for know, South Africa? For South Africa. Yeah. And when Willis came to here about this beautiful store uh, opened up in Alsace River, they came to visit the store. And they were intrigued with the hygiene, the quality they saw, the service they saw um, of a staff rendering, and then they approached us if we were willing to supply a lot of meat to their stores. At the time, Woolworths had a benchmark of, of standards and quality. And for us at the time to get that order, it's almost as if we've made it. There's, there's a continuous proudness of being associated to Woolworths, and at the same time, it's, it's delivered our brand and it's sort of escalated that brand to a bit of a level of, we are doing something right. You're only one of two beef mint suppliers to Woolies. Tell me, what is it about excellent meats that sets you apart from your competitors? As a brand itself, we our core focus is our people. Their joy, their happiness, that is key for us. And then we've got, we've got very strategic supply chains for the last between 25 and 30 years and they work as our partners, then I think welfare and well-being of animals is a fundamental, and these are driven hard by ourselves and Woolworths. So constant audits are being done at farmers and abattoirs to ensure processes are followed. And then the last one for me is that if you don't respect the product, the product will not respect you. So the fundamental is when you touch a piece of meat, give it some love. Because the fundamental of everything is love. Mervyn, why it's an operation. It is amazing. But I'm going to ask one question. The first thing I saw when I walked to the production site is no one's wearing gloves. Why is that? That is to make sure, and this is from previous experience, where customers found a piece of glove in the mints. And secondly, it's an hygienic requirement that people rather frequently wash hands as opposed to using gloves. I love that, and it makes so much sense. Now, no two packs of mints are ever the same. How would you describe exceptional quality mints? The requirements that's laid down by our customer, Woolworths, that we abide by every single specification laid down from the raw material being re received, the processes that we follow, that we maintain the safe uh, temperature controls, the end of that would be the perfect pack of mints. I'm seeing everything this morning and I'm so impressed, but I've got so many questions for you. Go for it, please. Woolies only have two beef approved mint suppliers. Why is that? What kind of criteria are you setting for these suppliers? It's not just the criteria that we put. It's like a marriage, if I could call it. You know, It's a partnership that's been grown with years with our two suppliers. We've got one in Western Cape, which is excellent meat where we're at now today. 
which looks after the region of Western Cape and going up into Eastern Cape. We share the same values internally with Excellent Meat. It's all about the customer at the end of the day, but from the product, the service and the experience that we give the customer at the end of the day, uh, we share those same values together. There's this preconceived idea that mints is made out of scraps, but that's definitely not the case. Can you tell me what goes into Woolies mints? Don't use scraps. What we use on our side is round cuts or whole muscles. We'll take it off the bone and put that through the machine um, and fine, chop it up into the fine pieces and mince it through. And putting it through a mincer, we get the best results for mince out of that. With that cut, we almost like guarantee very little or no grizzle in the mince. And with our further processing of it, where we have grizzle extraction, whatever little they came in with it, we can extract from that. I'm saying this is a very high-tech facility. How are you using technology to reach those requirements and that standard of exceptional quality? And so part of our, our agreement with Woolworths is that we will secure to them that we will not exceed the declared fat content in our mints. We have the tools to actually secure that that is spot on and not an estimation. So the FOSS machine gives us the perfect fat content of that one kilogram of mints. And that way, we can secure that what we declare, we deliver to the customer is actually what we deliver. Part of our commitment to Woolworths is that we will not send any pack to any consumer that is not one kilogram. So part of our equipment is we've got a rejection where the machine would not print the label if the weight is registered below one kilogram. You know, one of Woolworths, you know, something I really admire is how they invest in their supply chain. There's honesty, there's integrity, there's clarity, there's loyalty, uh, which any business desires for. As long as we do our part, they 100% do their part. We don't believe we are the best, and I'll be honest with you on that one. But what I can tell you, that every day we come to work, my team, staff, leadership, we will do our best. What that means at the end of the day, as long as you do your best in what you need to do, follow due diligence processes, follow specifications, the outcome of that will always be great. Our chase is not profits. Our chase is to deliver what was promised. Consistent quality beef mints that you can trust, supplied and produced by a passionate team that only use selected cuts, never scraps. There truly is only one option when it comes to beef mints, and that's Woolies Beef Mints. Shop it in store, online, and on the app. Oh, Clem coming through. I can't wait for him to dive into some of the recipes that we can have with that, but it is definitely just assuring to know that Woolworths cares about what goes into their mints. So it's an opportunity for us to be shopping the only mints to choose, and that's at Woolworths. Now available at new lower prices, and that's in-store online and on the app. What are you waiting for? Include it in your weekend treats. <laughs>